Welcome back to Mastering Kind Master Tutorials in English. Today we're going to do something really cool, a technology called masks. Now what is a mask in Kind Master? Oh well, that's a mask. Domo, he's wearing a mask. You just take your Domo character, you put him in a video, and there you're done. You got a mask in Kind Master, right? Bingo! That was so easy. <laughs> Actually, I'm just kidding. That's not what it is at all. But I am going to use a little Doma animation that I made using Kind Master. And check it out. I put the Domo animation into a mask. Yeah, it looks kind of like a picture in picture, but it's a lot more sophisticated than that. And it can give you the opportunity to make your picture in picture within a circle within a rounded square, within a triangle, or many other shapes of your own choosing. You can shape it to your own size. You can move it to where you want. So you can move the mask from over here to over here. You could have two on the screen if you wanted to. You could even put it right in front of your face. So if you're interested in finding out how to use this technology, it's a little bit different than a picture-in-picture. -picture. It's kind of like a multi-flexible picture-in-picture. Then stay tuned and watch as I show you how to use this relatively easy technique. I hope you want to stay and learn. I'm going to start this example by creating a 16 by 9 Kind Master project. And we are going to add a background out of our favorites, just this kind of gentle picture of a leaf and some colors. And one thing to know is that masks can only be applied to layers and it kind of makes sense because you're cutting out uh, a portion of your content and there's got to be something behind it. And so now we're going to add our layer and I'm going to go ahead and go into the media folder. And remember layers can either be uh, photos or videos or effects or other things, but we're going to take that same Domo video that I used as the sample. Um, you can see the full thing here. Now, why you can you right now you think okay well this is a picture in picture right i've got this i just put it over here it's a picture in picture but what you might notice is that you don't really have a chance to change the shape or size of it and let's say if you wanted to really focus on this area of you know zoom in on one of these one guys you really can't do it and so even though it's it's not the best example it's not the best use that you might have it kind of works so now what we do is remember this is a layer going in here and when you select and you go into the layer properties then you'll see that one of the layer properties is called cropping. Now it's much more than cropping because when you click on it you can see that it'll ask you to mask something and then when you turn on the mask you get this menu down here that gives you the opportunity to choose which shape that you want and in the shape you can see you have all of these shapes that you can pick from and when you actually pick one of the shapes let's say if I pick the circle here then as it currently is sitting here is that the handles that are on here are related to the mask itself and you can see that in the background it's showing you the entire your entire layer and and you can kind of see it half um it's half transparent uh but so i can isolate the part that i want to actually focus on and you can see that now i am moving with my finger the actual complete layer behind the mask so the handles modify the shape and size and position of the mask and then you can move the cl clip itself when i check the box then everything disappears aside from the part that we asked to be masked and then you can see that that creates the circular mask that we were looking at before um, we can position it so now once you take it um, if you're not in the cropping menu, then Kind Master assumes that you want to move the entire thing around. Really nice about this is that then you can rotate the entire piece and the mask remains in place and you see the mask part that you want to. If you scale it up from here, it's going to scale as you selected with inside of the mask. You could also potentially apply keyframes to this. You can, you know, relocate it, moving it around, all of this. And so hopefully you can see how much more powerful this is than any of the default picture in picture that comes with um, any other way that you would be doing this within Kind Master. Uh, so once again, I think that this is a pretty simple uh, idea. Again, you use a layer, 
you go into the menu that is the cropping menu. You select a shape from it, and then you wind up dragging the handles within the shape. You can choose a little heart there, drag the handles down. Now you can see, um, once again, it's already been scaled up. None of that changes. And then the one last thing to show you within that menu, you may or may not have noticed it, is let's get back into the cropping menu here. There is a feather, and what that does is it softens the edges of the mask itself. And so you can kind of see on the mask now that the heart has a soft feathering that's going on around it. Um, and, you know, just as before, that we could move the heart shape around, we can rotate it, we can do all of these things. And if you understand keyframing or watch my keyframing video that I did before, because this is a layer, this can be keyframed, animated, and moved around on the screen. Um, in addition, just a food for thought idea, you could create another layer underneath it. And maybe I'll do it since this video is really pretty quick, is it'll look kind of sloppy, but check this out, is I'm gonna put in a layer and I'm gonna put it in a media layer and I'm gonna put in a black background and I'm gonna stretch that out and then I'm going to spread it and I'm going to, can anyone guess what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna make a drop shadow for this and I do this and it's not gonna look terrific because I'm just doing it quick down and dirty, but I'm gonna go ahead and go into the cropping. I'm gonna turn on the mask. I'm gonna bring it down and find our heart. And then I am going to stretch this out a little further so it goes the whole way. And then I'm gonna use the, um, Organizer, whatever you want to call this, uh, the depth to send this backwards. I'm going to send the heart below the one that we put the domos in. And you know what? As I will do it an easier, better way. I'm going to rotate this one back into the flat position. And then, boom, we've got a drop shadow behind the heart uh, with the, the domo. And, yeah, it's not the best... It is, you, you can do this to make it look a lot better. Like I said, I'm just doing this really quick. I'm going to get rid of the feathering on this so it'll spread out. And then I will spread the heart out a little bit. And I'm getting a little bit closer. Not fantastic, but I hope that you can see that there. That looks a little bit more like a drop shadow in there. Um, and so it's a really good way to separate your content out from each other. I think that that is about as much as we need to show in this video about masking. And I hope that you take this tip and are able to run and fly with it and make some fantastically cool masked stuff. All right, I hope I made that pretty clear for everybody, and I hope you can think about some applications you might want to use a mask and Kind Master. Get out there and get making cool videos. Remember, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Maybe you want to share it. Maybe you want to come back for more. I make them every once in a while. I try and find a topic that may be not out there. And again, they're all narrated in English for you to see, check out, and I'll be here making more stuff with Kind Master. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Can the master.